Hey guys, my name is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a computer that's turning on, but the screen is staying black. If your computer is not turning on, that's a different problem. Click on this video here instead. This video is for a computer that's turning on, but the screen is black or dim or otherwise not working. Before we get started guys, a couple quick things. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this was helpful. If you want to support me a little more, feel free to send a super thanks. Even a couple bucks guys goes a long way to me making these videos and being as available as often as possible to answer questions. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to check out the FAQs below in the description that could save you some time getting a fast answer. If you need to leave me a comment or question, please do so. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Second and last quick thing, a shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you guys in English is that you can rent out your computer's unused power online to people mining cryptocurrency and you get paid for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto. It's a great way to make money on the side with no work, no added investment. Uh, you can click here for more info from them or stay tuned, I'll fill you in a little more about them at the end of the video. So now to get into the repair guys, the first test I'm gonna have you run is for RAM issues. Sometimes it comes loose, sometimes it goes bad. This is one of the most common causes to a black screen issue I found in my shop is a RAM issue. So let's flip your laptop over and let's access your RAM. Okay, so to get started testing your RAM guys, you wanna make sure your workspace is safe. As you can see here, I have an anti-static pad. Either a pad or a bracelet would be good. You also need your tools. You need a uh, pry tool, screwdriver at least. If you need any help finding equipment, send me a message or check out the link at the top of the screen. Um, I keep an Amazon store with a lot of things that I use in my shop so you guys know what to use. I have an easy access panel here. If you do as well, it'll be a lot easier to get into your computer. If you're having trouble getting into your computer, let me know what your brand and model number is and I can help you get into it. But now I'm gonna pop this open, with my pry tool. Screwdriver to take out the one screw in this computer. It's pretty easy. And pop this panel off. And there's your RAM. So most likely your RAM looks a lot like this. You'll have two RAM ports with two RAM sticks in it. You should at least see one. Uh, the RAM is held into your computer by metal arms that are spring loaded. You push those arms to the side and the RAM pops up like that, and then it just slides out. To put RAM back in, you'll notice there's a long port and a short port. That goes in, and it snaps back down in place. The first thing we're gonna do to test your RAM is just take your RAM sticks out, and then put them back in. Make sure they're nice and snug and level and snapped in correctly. Perhaps your RAM is just loose. Try turning your computer on. If it's still the same problem, we're gonna take one RAM stick out to continue testing, Try to turn your computer on now with just that RAM stick in the bottom port. If your computer works fine now, it means this stick was bad, you need to replace it. If you need help finding compatible RAM for your computers, guys, check out the link on top of the screen. Uh, that'll show you how to find the right compatible RAM for your computer. If your computer is still showing a black screen, we're going to take the bottom RAM stick out, put it in the top port, and we're going to try to turn your computer on again. If your computer is still not working, we'll take that RAM stick out entirely and now put this one in the bottom port. So you try both sticks in each port to check if you have a bad stick or a bad port or if they were just loose and that's how you would test your RAM. If something turned out to be wrong with your RAM, great. It's one of the easiest things to fix. If not, uh, we're going to move into the second test. Now I'm going to show you how to test to see if something's wrong with your LCD assembly and I'm going to use for that an external monitor that we're going to plug into your computer. So to test whether your LCD screen's working, I'm going to use an external monitor that I'm going to plug into my laptop with an HDMI cable. If you don't have an external monitor, perhaps use a TV. Uh, but on my external monitor, I'm going to turn it on. I use this one for testing. Uh, it says no signal and I have an HDMI cord plugged into it. I'm going to take that cord and plug it into my laptop. Now this is a working laptop that I have, but again, in your situation, your computer turns on, but the screen's black. So now you go to your external monitor. If you see a picture being displayed to your external monitor while your screen is black, we've kind of identified what's wrong. Your computer's working, it's sending out a good signal, 
but your LCD assembly is not processing it correctly. You're looking at most likely a bad LCD, a bad LCD cable, or a loose L LCD cable. If that's the case, the first thing I do is unplug my LCD cable from both ends, from the motherboard and from the LCD, and then plug it back in, make sure it's secure. If that's not fixing your issue, you may need to replace your LCD or your LCD cable. It's your choice which one you want to replace first. LCD cables are cheaper. LCDs are kind of easier to replace because you don't have to access the motherboard, so it's your call. If your external monitor is black, just like your LCD screen is black, and it's not getting a display, you may be looking at a motherboard issue at this point because no signal is being sent out. At that point, some computers, uh, some more complex computers, you can troubleshoot it down to the GPU or other components, but with most consumer laptops, you're looking at a motherboard issue at that point. It, it may need to be replaced. So if you are looking at a possible motherboard issue, guys, is one last thing you can try is a manual BIOS reset. There'll be a video link below in the description where I show you how to do that procedure on a motherboard. As far as this video goes, guys, please remember to like, share, subscribe again. Super thanks if possible. Um, any comments, I do try to get back to them a couple times a day at least. And as promised, a little more info now on my sponsor, NiceHash. As mentioned earlier, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means is you can rent out your computer's unused power. Most of us have computers way more powerful than we need day to day. And you can rent out that untapped power online to cryptocurrency miners who will pay you in Bitcoin for the use of that power. It's a great way to earn money on the side, no investment. We already own the computer. You're already paying the electricity. Um, and it's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto. Um, you can use their wallets on their site to store it. You can do research on other cryptos using their research tools. You can use their exchange to trade for other cryptos. It's a great way to get into the world without um, investing your own money and risking losing it. So it's a great idea to do. Again, check out this link for more information. Leave me any comments or questions. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Look forward to seeing you on my next video.